Well, in the middle of the latest LeBron, there it is, LeBron James controversy. Barstool Sports is now selling this T-shirt. Chairman James. Dave Portnoy founded Barstool, now an international brand, not beholden to China, and he joins us tonight. You're not beholden to China, are you? I'm just, I'm, I'm guessing this. I'm not beholden to China, uh, Tucker, but I'm going to be honest. I'm one of the few honest guys. If they guaranteed me like two billion people would buy T-shirts, I may fall in line like everybody else. I can't say I would do that. <laughs> would you admit it as you did it, though? Well, that's the thing. That's what drives me insane with all these people. You have to admit it. If they said, hey, we're going to have a billion people buy T-shirts, I'll go retire on an island. I'll put my hand up and be like, hey, Hey, put money in my pocket. I don't agree with what they're doing. That's what drives me insane. It's the hypocrisy. Like, LeBron, what are you talking about? Just admit it. It's your, it's your, you want to right. be a billionaire. That's it. That, end of story. But it, it is a little much to lecture the rest of us in this country about our failings while at the same time refusing to acknowledge that the Chinese government, which is pretty disgusting, I mean, really, has done anything wrong ever. Like, why do that? Why not just be quiet about all politics? Listen, I don't like LeBron James. I think he's a hypocrite, and I've always said that. When I saw what he tweeted out, I ran to my computer. I couldn't believe he said it. Just keep your mouth shut. How tone deaf do you have to be? It is insane when you put the tweets that he has had in his past next to each other. One second he says, you can't be silent. Doesn't matter about money, contracts, whatever, basic human rights. And then he says the exact opposite. You can't talk. Some issues, you gotta be quiet. Like, it, this moment has, well, I saw through him the whole time. He's a hypocrite. He'll say, you know, people go to L.A., they don't care about basketball, that's why they lose. He's a hypocrite. His kid, he'll say stuff about his kid. He doesn't like too much pressure, yet he named him LeBron James Jr. I mean, everything he says, he's <laughs> hypocritical. This may be the issue where people finally wake up. Because like what you said, it doesn't matter what side of the aisle on. It doesn't matter. Everybody agrees this is about basic human decency, and you care more about your money and becoming a billionaire. That's it. So we're piling on LeBron James, and I, I think it's obvious he deserves it. But what about his handlers at Nike? I mean, clearly he's taking orders from them, no? Here's what I think happens with LeBron James. I don't think he's ever been told no in his life. So when he tweeted that out, they said, hey, King, hey, King, you know, the haters don't like this. You may want to just, they're haters, though. They'll never tell me did anything wrong. It's like when you're the heavyweight champ of the world, and everybody's like, champ, champ, champ. They talk to LeBron like he's a god. He's never been told he's wrong. And I guarantee you they phrase this like, we're the crazy ones. Like, King, don't worry about it, King. Some people are just getting a little ruffled. We may have to backtrack. I guarantee you he has a huge pseudo-apology still coming. He has to. But it's fake. Everything about him is fake. He just showed his true colors. How can anybody... With everything going on, he blames yeah. it on Daryl Morey. This is real issues. This is real human rights violations yeah. going on. And he's tweeting, well, you made me uncomfortable. I didn't get a good night's sleep. It's crazy. It's crazy. So most people, as you pointed out, are selling T-shirts in China. You're selling T-shirts against China. How many have you sold? A lot. These have cut. Well, Donald Trump Jr., retweeted this the second we put the shirt on sale. So that certainly helped. He's becoming like a Barstool super fan, which is great. So we've sold a lot. I think we're about 3,000 of these we've sold pretty quickly. And by the way, just in the, again, I'm going to be fair, we actually had an anti-China and pro-China t-shirt in the same <laughs> blog. Blue states, red states, they both buy shirts. Communists, Democrats, they both buy shirts. We'll sell them to who's ever buying, Tucker. And you're honest about it. The last <laughs> no, honest not. man in digital media, Dave Portnoy of Barstool. Great to see you tonight. Thank you. You too.